gonna be under here. <laughs> oh, there she be. Okay. There she be. Visual pregnancy test. All right, buddy. Sam and I have gotten into a little post beach routine. Uh, he comes home a little bit earlier than me and draws me a bath, which I absolutely love. Then when I get in, it's uh, ready to go. So we did that today. Uh, but before that, because I am one day late, we decided to take one of the pregnancy tests. This is actually the second one I've taken <laughs> since being here, even though I'm only one day late. Um, so we took it, um, Sam did the honors, and one pink line after about 10 to 30 seconds. Um, we weren't really expecting to see anything, but we were hopeful. And then I just got into the bath immediately after, which was delightful. I had a macaroon in the bath. And uh, then I got out of the bath and the pregnancy test was still sitting on the counter and there's a faint line there and i know that it's over the recommended time i think i was in the bath for over 30 minutes so we're trying to decipher if it is a false possibly positive or uh, sam looked up some stuff and i guess it could be an evaporation line because it's been sitting too long but we're also not sure so let's see here. I'll see if I can show it to you. Here's the test. You can see two positive lines means pregnant. One means not pregnant. And there is a faint line there, ever so faint. And I looked up on the reviews of this specific product and there has been a number of photos of women posting that the line got darker over time. But I did see a couple of reviews as well that said if they left it after the 30 minutes, it's an evaporation line and it is not positive. So we don't know what it is, but we have one more test and I still haven't received my period. So probably save that test for a couple more days. So don't waste it. And then, <laughs> and then see what happens. Update, I am now three days late. Sam and I are kind of holding our breath at this point. Um, when I was ovulating, I kind of feel like I can feel when I'm ovulating. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know how accurate that is, but I felt like this time around, I was ovulating a little bit later than I was expected to. So that could have just pushed everything back a little bit, but we're also really hopeful that, you know, that miracle of when they say, you know, you're not trying, that's when it works. So my fingers are crossed. Um, yeah, I'm feeling hopeful. I, I'm i nervous, I'm really nervous. Just because being late, it's just like your heart gets excited and you start to really think that it might be happening. So I really hope that we get to continue to feel that way. Sam's really excited <laughs> every time I come out of the washroom. He's just like, well, <laughs> like still clear. I was just sitting here and I was thinking, I can't remember if I told you that I had some spotting. So I first had spotting two days before my period was due. And so I was like, oh, I was completely wrong. I thought I ovulated late, but apparently I ovulated early and I thought I got my period that day. And then after the spotting, it was clean. It was clear, nothing came about. And then the next day, the same thing happened. I was like, oh, okay, well, it's here now. And then it went away. And I was sure it was gonna come back and be there, um, arrive on the day of my period. And then it didn't. So that's another thing I'm kind of curious about. I know that there can be some bleeding with implantation. Um, so, so I don't know maybe if that was some implantation bleeding or if that was really just some spotting. I'm not sure. It's, that is something that has been very different 
typically I don't get splotting before my period and typically I'm not this late. I have been feeling a little bit of cramping and a little bit of almost twangy, weird feelings in my lower abdomen. But once again, I felt that before and I thought I was pregnant and I wasn't. So I'm trying not to read too much into it, but just being aware and just noticing now. And I know I said I wasn't going to be obsessed um, during this trip, but now sitting at three days late, I am very aware of where we're at and what's going on. Good morning. It is another beautiful day here in Capo. And uh, as you can see, I have my sun protectant on. I've just got this hat down here. It's wonderful because it covers all of my face if my head is normal and it sometimes comes down my neck. So I was finding I was getting burnt on my face, even though I was putting on SPF 60 and I always wear my, my sun shirt. But um, today we are now four days late. I honestly cannot believe it. Yeah, I don't know. It's starting be to become really real and I can't help but be really excited now. This is the latest I've ever been. I'm usually pretty regular and um, yeah, I'm getting excited. I know that Sam's getting excited. We decided that we are going to take our test tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning we need to do our PCR COVID test so that we can get back into Canada and we decided that we were going to do it after that. So get that one thing over with and then hopefully have something really exciting to celebrate for the rest of the day and um, fingers across for both negative test and a positive test. Five days late. Sam and I are up early today because I would like to go check out the sunrise today because it's coming up over the ocean and um, Sam is going to join me. So he's in the shower. So we're going to do that this morning and then today is Friday so that it is our COVID test day. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, my fingers are crossed for that. That is a very important test which will allow us to go home. And then after that, as I mentioned, we're going to come back here and we're going to take our final pregnancy test. I've been feeling some different symptoms. Um, yesterday, I kind of felt food aversion for the first time and still had some light cramping. And um, yeah, so it's starting to feel a little bit real. I'm gonna be surprised if it comes back negative, but um, anything's possible. So fingers are gonna be crossed there as well. The towels are out. The towels are absolutely out. back to sleep before the sunrise. We aren't the only ones out here. It's nice. for our COVID testing, or chest lock. Didn't know what to expect, but the nurses were really nice and uh, did the double up the nose, but it didn't seem as bad as the previous ones I had had. And uh, we're gonna get our results in about 24 hours. Now on to the next test. Gonna be under here. <laughs> oh, there she be. Okay. There she be. Digital pregnancy test. Alright, buddy. Here we go. Well. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Oh, 
Can't believe it. Positive test. Can you see? <sighs> I made sure to get one that had no questions. It was just a yes or a no, and today we got the yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do now. We don't know what to do. I think we're going to celebrate. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Join the day. What a whirlwind. Yesterday, Sam and I just spent the whole day uh, just being together, crying, laughing, reminiscing, just absolute disbelief. We honestly did not expect to get a positive test. Um, with all the symptoms I was having, I was gonna be really surprised if it wasn't. But at the same time, I know that anything can happen and I, I really was trying not to get too excited but also feeling like really confident about it. But when we saw it and it was confirmed, it was just, oh, it was amazing. It was such an amazing moment. One of my favorite moments with my husband. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little emotional now again. Icing on the cake yesterday, last night, we received an email that we we're uh, COVID negative, so that means that we can go home as planned. Just gonna head out for a walk and do some thinking about the last couple of days. I'm still in disbelief, but um, very happy. I honestly cannot believe that we ended up being one of those couples where <laughs> what they say is true. It happens when you're not trying. It does not make any sense to me. It makes absolutely zero sense, but I guess there is, there's a reason why people say that. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm so thankful that in this case, it, uh, it came true for us. And I'm so excited that we're going home pregnant. Just uh, a little tiny little sprinkle in there right now and I, I, I am so hopeful for the future and um, if you're on your fertility journey just like I am, I send you so much love and patience and hope and I know it's not an easy one, um, but there's hope. Lots of love to you. See you next time.